Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today we'll be doing a pre-cut lace glueless install. And when I say glueless, I mean this one is 100% glueless. Nothing at all is bonding this one down. It's all about a great construction of the cap. And I definitely think that Recool did an awesome job of giving us something super fire. She is a 22 inch deep wave texture. And again, she's super easy pre-cut lace you don't have to cut anything off you literally take her out of the box put her on of course we're going to be doing a little bit of finesse you're going to see how we did a little bit of baby hair and how we just styled her up extra extra beautiful i love the texture and wave pattern on this one you'll see at the end of the video how it looks like when it's super like wet and defined this is like after a full day diamond started um basketball today was his first game of the season him and my husband my husband is his coach so shout out to them for their first game of the season but it's almost bedtime so I'm about to go ahead and put this one up and prepare for war with the good night routine on a Sunday night and I have to do laundry and just so many other things but I wanted to get cute first because I always feel good when I make myself look good and glam on a Sunday when there's so much mundane things to do anyways I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial be sure to check out recool hair I have a direct link to this wig in the description box and without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the install okay ladies number one tip I can give you for hair care is natural hair care take care of your hair your edges your length your scalp missing some nails so so I am so sorry I'm going to get my nails done on Wednesday but I'm taking my rosemary mint oil drops along the hairline as well as the parting take care of your hair be kind to your hair we can all grow our hair to waistline if we just do it together I'm gonna take a HD wig cap cut a slit in the back because I don't want it too tight on my hairline as we try to grow them back I've realized those super tight um, wig caps that I used to wear before were really really hindering the growth of my hairline now here is the wig itself. I went ahead and washed and conditioned off camera in the sink. And this is what she looked like. She's been sitting on the wig head for all of 10 minutes, so she's still super wet. Here is a look at the lace itself. Feel free to go in and bleach the knots if you please. It's always an option, but I just wanted to show you how beautiful the lace is. This is HD lace, real HD lace, not the fake one. It also comes with an adjustable elastic band, and then it has a scallop cut pre-cut lace. I love the fact that they pre-cut the lace so you don't have to cut it at all and they made it like kind of rigid and scallop scalloped how I like it so that it'll be a lot more camouflage and you'll see how that works in just a moment now this is a closure wig we love a closure wig especially a glueless closure wig on this channel so this is a glueless closure wig install and this is a look a close-up look at the lace now this is pre-cut lace but if you want to go in and uh cut the extra off you definitely can i'm going to show you what it looks like to leave that on here i am just warming up the lace a little bit as i said this is real hd lace but we want it to be tinted to our exact complexion you can also see that they went ahead and pre-plucked the hairline for us i'm just going to cut the sides off because again we want this to fit lewis so anything that just moves and just doesn't lay flat we cut off i'm going to pull the hair to the back and we're going to work on the install process now today because i am going with this beautiful deep wave hair i always love a good baby hair moment with deep deep wave hair so i'm going to do a little bit not too thick and heavy just a little light stuff to something and it's going to look bomb so this is the amount of hair I'm going to pull forward. As you guys can see, it's not a lot at all. And I'm just going to take the pencil flat iron and just curl it away from the face. I'm not doing too much or it's not too uniform. It's just adding a little bit of like curl to it, if you will, like a loose curl to it, because I am going to use product to like form the baby hair. I just want to be able to manipulate them to do or to be exactly how I see them in my head. So for this one today, I opted for not doing the dynamic duo, which I love so much. I did use the wax stick to kind of like lay down the parting in the lace area, but no hot comb today. I'm just going to use product and I went ahead and just used a hard brush to work that product in so that it will lay down perfectly without heat. Here I am just adding a little bit more baby hair and then I'm going to use this edge control from bdeckbeauty.com to go ahead and form the baby hair. What I almost forgot to mention is I did use that even product. Typically I would use that as a glueless adhesive but it also works as a melting spray. So because we have lace here that um, 
because we have lace and baby hair here, I want to make sure that it lays down and melts amazingly and flawlessly. So I'm going to use that to melt it and then I'm going to lift it after it melts because I just want the baby hair to have that um, good bond so that it can kind of form, if you will. And then I'm going to add a melt belt on top and this is also is going to help it to melt. You got to kind of just trust the process. We're not bonding the wig down. This is a 100% glueless install, but we want the lace to be melted. We're rocking with a new styling product today. This is from My L, and I believe this is the White Peony Leave-In Conditioner. Here, I don't know why I left this clip in, but this is just me being dumb and dumb. We're trying to figure out how to use the top. The final result was that I could not figure it out, and I still haven't figured it out. So I'm just going to take the top off and use it in my hand. This is a leave-in conditioner. I found it in Target. It's pretty affordable, and um, it didn't have an amazing smell to it, but it didn't have a bad smell to it. It's just, you know, regular. Um, I wanted something that was light and, again, a leave-in because the hair itself was beautiful, and it didn't need a heavy product, especially because I already moisturized and conditioned. Now, this is a little bit thinner because it is a leave-in. Usually, a curl cream is thicker um, or a styling product is thicker. Thicker, but the leave-ins are typically thinner especially if it comes with a spray bottle just adding a little bit of water on top to move that product around and then I'm going to go in with my dimming brush and this is going to help me to make the curls pop extra extra good you guys can see the texture and how beautiful it is this is definitely some quality hair you can find this one in a 4x4 or a 5x5 or a 13x4 lace frontal here's a look at the back when it's still dripping wet and this is the lace after you melt it. Now you see why we did that? Because now it blends and it just camouflages with my skin. And the lace, the hairline looks like lace with baby hair on top. This is why we do the lace, um, the melting of the lace, if you will, because it definitely makes a huge difference. I'm going in and tinting the lace. I should have used concealer, but I used powder. Nonetheless, it looks bomb. Now here we are after we did some makeup and I'm showing you again, it's not glued down or bonded down. This is 100% a glueless install. It's melted, it's beautiful. The curls have had time to dry. As you guys can see, this is bomb 10 out of 10. Linked in the description box, I would highly recommend for your collection. Thank me later. Okay, ladies, we are done with the look. Now I am about to head out to my son's first basketball game of the season. Um, it's 1.30 and we gotta be there by two and it's about 15 minutes away. So the girls are dressed, I just have to um, Get my leggings out of the wash, which I'm, sure, I'm in the dryer, which I'm sure you can hear there. And put my top on, and I think I'm going to go makeup list um, to the game, and then like run errands and have lunch with the, the family. And then I'll do my makeup and do the intro and the pictures. And mainly because I want to go out into the elements and allow the hair to completely dry. I prefer hair or natural and wavy textures when they are completely dry. So this one did come from Recool and they have their social media handles all on the back. And they are just Recool hair everywhere. And then here is the front of the box. And I believe it opens up kind of like a gift, like super cute. And of course the beautiful wig was hanging out inside. The package is so stuffed. I was going to say, wait a minute. So they give me two wigs, but um, no, this is just packaging. Um, it does show you on the inside. This one is Deep Wave. And then this is the dust bag here. They gave us a pack of lashes, which I might wear these today because I'm going to move for something with a super thin band, but a little length on it. Um, I got a purple bonnet. This is one of those little headbands I was talking about I wear during the week. I have so many of these in different colors, textures, and styles. Um, an edge brush. This is a pink like a mauve pink red so comb the girls are wearing a shirt this color today super cute and then some invisible oh, this is some invisible hd wig caps and then a pack of uh dolphin clips a mini pack of hair bobby pins and then a melt belt that says recool all over it and so because this one is glueless um and it actually did fit glueless. I didn't need any adhesive spray, but I did want to melt the lace. And that's one thing I like about this spray here is that it bonds your wig down um, enough so that it looks bonded down. It looks clean and like a really good install, but it's light enough that you can stick a rat tail comb through like, I, like you've seen and lift the wig and it doesn't leave any residue. So now the wig is melted because I went ahead and put that product in that melt belt. The baby hair is laid and and it's you know I can still take it on and off so this is a perfect wig if what I was talking about how I wear um, glueless wigs throughout the week for my day-to-day -day, and I barely um, maintain them 
on a day-to-day -day basis be sure to check out recall i have a direct link to this wig in the description box there you'll find all the products including the new um it's not new to the world but it's new to me leave-in conditioner i think it worked really good let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches